Hi, I'm Anne from Game Like a Mother. Today I'm going to show you how to play Dragonwood by Game Right. It's ages eight and up, two to four players, and takes about 20 minutes. Let me show you how to play. Here I am setting up a two player game. To start, you take the green cards that say Dragonwood on them, you shuffle them, and then for a two player game, you take out 12 cards. For a three player game, you take out 10, for a four player, eight. Put them off to the side, you will not use them this time. You need to have taken out the two dragon cards and you shuffle them into the bottom half of the deck so that they will appear at the end. Then you place out five cards. The goal of Dragonwood is to collect the most points by winning creature cards. Next, you deal each player five of the adventurer cards. These have numbers on them, and this is how you win the Dragonwood cards. They have a little cheat sheet that so shows you the different types of attacks for collecting cards. There are strikes, stomps, screams, and all that is is that corresponds with these pictures down on the bottom of each and every card, and there are different types of attacks. So strike is numbers in a row, Stomp, same number, scream, same color. So if it is my turn first and I wish to go, on your turn, you can either reload and draw one card from the adventurer deck or make a capture attempt. And so I can pick to take two cards and how you do an attack is you place those cards, you say which card you're going for, I'm going for spooky spider, and I get the number of dice for the number of cards I have played. So I would get two dice and I'm trying to do a scream. They're the same color so I have to roll a four or higher in order to win this card. If I roll, I get higher than a four. I get to collect the card. These are discarded and a new card is placed out. This is an action card and it takes place immediately. All players draw two cards. You see, I have drawn a different looking card. This is a lucky ladybug. You do this action immediately if you draw it and you discard it to the side and get to draw an additional two cards. You are allowed to have a maximum of nine cards in your hand. If you have more than that, you discard the additional cards until you're back down to nine. On a capture attempt, if you are not successful, if I do a stomp on the gooey glob, which requires nine points to capture, and I have three, so I get to roll three dice, and I only get a seven, so I don't make it, I do not get this card but I get to keep these and I just must discard one of my adventurer cards into the stack and my turn is over. You may only capture one creature per turn. So if I'm successful and I get this, I cannot then go and place another attack. I have to wait until my next turn to do so. Enhancements are one like any other creature card. And if you place this, I would need to get a six on three dice. If I roll it and I get it, I place it off to the side and discard these, put out a new card, and it is part of my hand to use on any future turn, but I cannot use it in order to capture another enhancement card. This card, I may add one point to all capture attempts, but I cannot use that power on capturing the friendly bunny or the silver sword. Also, if you have multiple enhancements, sometimes for lower value cards like this, it doesn't cost anything to capture them, but you still need to use a card and roll a die. You always must roll at least one die in order to capture a card. A game ends when either the two dragons have been captured by either player or when you have gone through the adventurer cards twice. If you go through it once, you shuffle up the discard pile and put it back and then go through it again. And then if it runs out yet again, at that point, each player gets to take one more turn and then you score from there, game over. 
Let's do the final couple turns. It's my turn. I pick up my hand and I'm going to use these five cards that are the same color to do a capture attempt on the blue dragon. So I am doing a scream, which requires 13 points. I take five dice, but I also have a magical unicorn. So I get to add one point to any capture attempt. So I only need a 12. And I'm also going to use my lightning bolt, which I can only use one time, but it adds four points to any capture attempt. So I really only need eight on five cards. Uh, looks pretty likely. Take the dice, roll them. Oh, hooray, I got it. Put it in my face down pile of all of my cards. We put out the final other card that's left. It is my opponent's turn. They use their cards. Now they have seven cards in a row, but you only are allowed to use up to six dice. So they are going to use, discard my cards. These six, keep the remaining one, and they're going to do a strike attack on the orange dragon. And they have a silver sword, which adds two points to any strike. So they only have to get a 13 with all six dice and they roll the six dice. They got it, collect the card and the game is over. These do not get collected. They get put off to the side. Now we get to score the cards. Our first point of order is to count the number of Dragonwood cards we collected. I collected 10 and my opponent collected seven. So I get a three point bonus for collecting the most creatures. If we tied, we would each collect two points, which wouldn't matter in a two player game, but could in a three or four player game. Next, you flip over your cards and just add up the point totals. Mine is 27 plus the three bonus points for collecting the most creatures. So I end with 30 and my opponent had 23. So I am the winner this time. So that's how to play Dragonwood. It feels like a lot of game with many interesting elements, but it's actually quite simple once you play through once or twice. And younger kids can be very successful at playing this game. So check it out. Thanks and see you next time from Game Like a Mother.